Hello and welcome to a video tutorial by Math Warehouse on dealing with non-decimal numbers. And by that I mean numbers that are binary, octal, you name it. So any base except for base 10, the base that I'm calling normal and, and that we're used to dealing with. Um, this tutorial is going to focus on how to convert numbers like 101 in binary or 146 in base 8 into a quote-unquote normal decimal number, the numbers that we use every day, that we use and love. Okay, so let's, first off, I want to make sure that you know that um, you can find this tutorial and many other resources, including some neat calculators and converters at mathwarehouse.com slash non-decimal bases. And to kind of give this some context, you may have heard this joke before. There are 10 types of people in this world, those who understand binary and those who do not. By the end of this tutorial, you yourself will completely understand that joke if you don't already. Okay, so before we try to figure out how to take something like 101 in binary and rewrite it in decimal, what we first want to do is look at a normal number. Again, I'm just going to call decimal numbers, base 10 numbers like this, a normal number. Now, every decimal, every uh, number actually has a base associated with it. Uh, we deal in our life and every day in, with base 10 numbers. And the meaning of this base 10 idea will be clear when we look, when we break this number down into powers of 10. Just like we're going to, and we'll do something similar to numbers in other bases. To help us understand how to convert this to decimal, 101 to decimal, we are actually going to look at a regular number. So let's think about 135 as 5 times 10 to the 0 power. Remember, anything to the 0 power is 1, so this is really 5 times 1, or 5. And we're going to think about 3 as 3 times 10 to the first. 10 to the first is 10, 3 times 10 is 30, and this last digit as 1 times 10 squared, or 100. Now, to get the number 135, what do we do with the 5, the 30, and the 100? We add them up. So, you yourself probably take for granted this fact, but whenever we write any number, 135 base 10, or 241, we're actually using powers of 10. This number is 1 times 10 to the 0, plus 4, times 10 to the 1st, plus 2, times 10 squared. Okay, I just filled that in real quick. 1 times 10 to the 0, 4 times 10 to the 1st, 2 times 10 squared, or 1, plus 40, plus 200. Now, it turns out we can think of binary numbers in the same way. The difference is instead of base 10, or instead of powers of 10 here, we're going to have powers of 2. So. 101 in binary is really 1 times 2 to the 0. Again, you start with the 0 power. Our base is 2, not 10 now. And this is 0 times 2 to the 1st. And this here is 1 times 2 to the 2nd. Well, what's 1 times 2 to the 0? That's 1 times 1. Remember, anything to the 0 is 1. This is 0 times 2, which is 0. And this is 1 times 4. So 101 base 2 is really the number 5 in the normal, you know, quote unquote normal base that we use, base 10. Yeah, we don't normally write our base 10 down there, we just assume that it's there. 146 base 8. Okay, it's, we're going to see that this rule about is going to work for any base. Our base now is 8 instead of 2. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this as 6 times 8 to the 0, 4 times 8 to the 1st, and 1 times 8 squared. All right, 6 times 8 to the 0 is just 6. Excuse me, it's just 6. 4 times 8 to the 1st is 4 times 8, or 32. And 1 times 8 squared is just 64. So what do we do with these numbers? We just add them up. So this should give you the number 102. Again, this is 102 base 10. 
All right. So let's try a few more practice problems. Okay, let's try three more examples and then see if you understand that joke um, about the ten types of people in this world. All right, 158 base 9. We're going to rewrite this as 8 times 9 to what power? Hopefully you thought 0. 5 times 9 to the first, and 1 times 9 squared, All right, which will give you, let me separate these, 8 times 1, remember anything to the 0 is 1, 5 times 9, 45, and then 1 times 9 squared, or 81. Now, do you remember what we do with these three things? Add them up. And you should get 134. So this 134 is the 134 that we know and love in our nice little base 10. 317 base 8. 7 times 8 to the 0. 1 times um, 8 to the 1st. 3 times 8 squared. Right? So it's going to be... Um, it's going to be 7 times 8 to the 0, which is 7, 1 times 8, and then 3 times 8 squared, or 3 times 64, which is 192. Okay, and hopefully you know by now that we add these numbers up, and you get 207, and this 207 is the 207 you've always known and loved, base 10. All right, 1010 oh, oh, base 2 is going to be... 0 times 2 to the 0, or 1 times 2 to the 1st, 0 times 2 squared, and 1 times 2 cubed. Right? This is just 0 times 1, or 0, 1 times 2, or 2, 0 times 8, or 0, sorry, 0 times, zero times 4, or 0, and 1 times 8 to give you the number 10. Now, let's do one more thing. Actually, two more things before we get to the joke. What is the difference between this number and this number? Is there a difference? And they look the same. <coughs> Which one do you think is bigger, or are they, or, the, or are they the same value? Do you think they have the same value? Ten base ten—that's a ten you've always known. And one zero base two, ten base two, quote unquote ten base two. Well, let's take this number here and do what we've been doing, which is convert it into the base that we've always um, used, base ten. This is going to be zero times two to the zero plus um, one times. 2 to the first, or 0, plus 1 times 2, 2, which is 2. So which one is bigger here, 10 or or this 10? And it turns out this, our normal 10, the real 10, is a much bigger number than 1 0 base 2. 1 0 base 2 is just 2 that you've always known and loved. Maybe now you get the joke. Try rereading this quote. There are ten types of people in this world, those who understand binary and those who don't, and think about what we just did. Hopefully you're thinking, ah, they mean this. The joke here is, is that this is a binary number. It's the number two that we just converted. Okay, so that's it for a quick overview of how to take a number in, in, an, in another base and take it into decimal. I'm also going to do a video tutorial on some quick shortcuts for converting numbers. Like, There's a really, really fast way that works for converting binary numbers to decimal numbers, and it only works for binary numbers, and some other video tutorials. <coughs> Don't forget to check out mathwarehouse.com slash non-decimal basis to get um, all the calculators, video tutorials, and resources you could want on this topic. Thank you.